About 40 Maine veterans and their families are ready to fly. After being grounded for a couple of years, Honor Flight Maine is finally about to take them to Washington, D.C. New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan has the story. It's always an excited group when an Honor Flight Maine trip is about to take off for Washington. This one may be more excited than most. That's because for the past two years, they haven't been able to go. The COVID pandemic kept Honor Flight grounded. Now they've started a whole series of trips, six of them for this year, that they're hoping will start to make a dent in the backlog of people who want to go. 40 veterans approximately on this trip, three from World War II, the rest about evenly divided between the Korean War era and Vietnam era. Talking with those veterans, they're ready to go, and the leaders of Honor Flight Maine are eager to get more veterans signed up. Equally the donations, equally we need the people of Maine to help us find their granddad, their grandmom that served in World War II or Korea. We need to find those elder veterans because time doesn't wait. We've lost two years, they're a year older, and we've lost a dozen veterans over the last two years that we couldn't get to. It's very an honor, like I say, it's a chance to get in. I was stationed in Washington for three years, three different times, but uh, it's been a long time since I've been there. <laughs> so as they get ready to board and head off for a weekend of excitement in Washington, first stop, the airport in Baltimore, where, as usual, we expect there will be a big welcome for these veterans, just the first of what they'll experience between now and Sunday. In Portland, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.